Have you ever heard of cardiac output and you don't know exactly what it means? Well, let's reverse engineer this. First, we start off with contractility. So this is the strength of the heart's contractions. If the heart is strong, it can pump more blood with each beat. Pretty simple, right? And so now we have preload. Preload is how much volume of blood fills the ventricles before the heart's contraction. So we wanna think of this like a balloon. How much can we fill up a water balloon before we squeeze it? So the more water we fill up in the balloon, the more we can push out whenever we squeeze it. But we'll know we're gonna have to squeeze harder on it if the balloon has more water inside so we can push that water out. Next is our afterload, and this is that resistance that the heart is facing to pump blood out of to the body. It's like that effort needed to push open a heavy door. If that resistance is high, like maybe in high blood pressure or stiff arteries, or like heart failure when that blood is backing up, then the heart has to work harder to push it out. And so these three factors are what we call stroke volume. Stroke volume is how much blood the heart is pumping with each beat. And it's important because if we take stroke volume and we multiply it by a heart rate, which is how many beats per minute, then we get our magical word of cardiac output, which is essentially how much blood is pumping in one minute. Typically, a normal healthy heart is 48 liters of blood a minute, and this is going to tell us the overall health condition of our patient's heart. 